In this video, I'm going to talk about cellulose, why it's really in dietary supplements as well as food products. I'm going to talk about what it really, really does um, as well as the benefits to us and some of the, uh, say, some of the ne negatives of consuming it. Now, before I get started, uh, down below there's this link. If you click on it, I'm giving away a free uh, video-based guide on sharing a bunch of tips on you know, using dietary supplements and alternative medicines. Now, in the world of plants, uh, cellulose really is used to strengthen the cell walls. Um, it is a carbohydrate, and some animals can digest it, but us humans, we can't digest it. What this means is it's a dietary fiber. Now, for some people, it's really kind of difficult to understand how something we can't digest is so healthy for us. I'm sure you know that fiber is pretty healthy, right? Um, fiber can help with weight loss by making you feel full. If you don't believe me, just eat a bunch of oatmeal. Like, oh, I can't eat anymore. Uh, it really helps the digestive system. It can help with cholesterol levels, blood sugar levels. There's some other things it helps with too. Now, here's the thing. Even so, it's so healthy, most people really don't consume enough of it. WebMD recommends that somebody consume somewhere around 30 grams a day of fiber. And there's some people that estimate the average person in America only consumes 15 grams a day. Now, adding cellulose to food. The reason why it's in food is there's a lot of reasons, but one is to kind of add fiber to the food without really changing the taste and the flavor of it. So that's a good thing. Um, that's definitely a positive. Another reason it's added is to kind of bulk up the food, but not increase the calories. So if you see like weight loss products, there's a really good chance that it has cellulose in it so that it could kind of make it, make it a little bit bigger, bulk it up, you know, and not give you more calories. Now, another really great use for it is to thicken things up. Say like a sauce, right? Um, do you like runny spaghetti sauce? Probably not. Uh, so that's a great use to bulk it up. Uh, has a lot of benefits. Uh, another example of this would be like say like ice cream, bulk up the ice cream, um, as well as like whipped cream. Now, so at this point, you might be wondering, okay, that makes sense how it's in food, but but what about dietary supplements? You know, why is it used in dietary supplements? And it's kind of similar to food. Um, it could be used to help combine vitamins. It can bulk up. Um, help bulk up the product. For example, say um, a vitamin is, is more of a liquidy form and natural. It can be used to, uh, to kind of bulk it up so it's easier to swallow and consume. Uh, it can also be used to protect the nutrients from the air because let's face it, there's some really weird toxic stuff in air that we don't want to get in the, uh, you know, the vitamin. And it will degrade quicker if it's exposed to the air quality. This kind of brings me to my next point about liquid supplements. Uh, one big negative about liquid supplements, because it's not in that pill, protected with the cellulose and everything, it degrades in quality much quicker. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever seen this, but some companies market the liquid supplements as being better for absorption. Okay. Well, according to Consumer Reports, this simply is not true. Okay. Various studies show that absorption rates are actually the same, okay? And another big negative with, with liquid supplements is you can't really put enteric coating on them. And what that means is a lot of stuff actually gets destroyed by stomach acid when it comes to, like, say, like a multivitamin. And what's the point of buying something if it's a lot of it is going to get destroyed? Does it make any sense? So those are the big drawbacks of liquid supplements. But, hey, it's not a pill. So there you go. So we talked about you know, why it's in food, why it's in supplements, and the, the positives. So let's talk about some of the drawbacks um, of cellulose. If there's anything negative about consuming it, you might be wondering. And the big risk comes down to consuming too much of it, okay? And if you do consume too much of it, side, side effects, of course, might, th might be things like uh, constipation, having lots of gas, feeling kind of bloated, dehydrated because it absorbs water. And ironically, you can even have diarrhea and weight gain too, which I know doesn't really make too much sense, but I guess it could happen. So anyways, if you want to learn a lot more about what really you should be looking for in a dietary supplement, I highly encourage you to click that link below. 
Um, I go into a lot more detail about you know, what you really should look for in a supplement. I even compare products back to back. I go over things like uh, herbal remedies made very simple and how you can get some great herbs. I mean, at just the, the best price possible. I, I go over um, alternative medicines for specific health problems that can be very helpful, which I, I think there's some great ideas there. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video might have been useful to some people out there. And um, I hope you have a very wonderful rest of your day. And, and take care, all right? Uh, bye.